following their discussion on the podcast club Shay Shay with Cat Williams and Shannon Sharp, many fans have drawn some depressing conclusions about Hollywood. Cat accidentally revealed every secret in Hollywood with a shocking disclosure. Many people are in awe of Cat Williams' bravery in supposedly exposing the wrongdoings inside the music industry, even if doing so may put him in danger. What had Cat Williams disclosed, then? It's said that Quincy Jones and Clive Davis, two of Hollywood's most influential people, were opened up by Cat Williams. Cat seems to be targeting these well-known people who have engaged in unethical behavior inside the music industry. Many people think that in addition to revealing the Hollywood moguls, Cat could also be poking fun of Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones's S-orientation has long piqued the interest of admirers, and there has been much discussion and conjecture around it. Many claim to be aware of the truth. Quincy's mystery is increased by the fact that he has kept the public in the dark about his personal life. In the music business, there have long been suspicions and charges that Quincy Jones using his S to gain power in the entertainment sector. Many admirers think Quincy has supported several young musicians so he could make fun of himself and take advantage of them, like Ludacris. Many speculate that Jones's influence may have influenced the course of events, but the entertainment industry has long been fraught with unspoken norms and hidden agendas. A lot of individuals in the company and outside have been startled by this. The idea that Quincy Jones performed rituals for other musicians to help them be successful in the business is among the most ludicrous things that have been said about him. Professor Griff, a conspiracy theorist, has publicly accused Quincy of being involved in a number of Hollywood scandals. Numerous other music industry figures, including Tupac, have claimed that Quincy has been involved in dubious activities in Hollywood. To Tupac, the secret to any celebrity's success in the music business is Quincy Jones. Many people were intrigued by this story's origins, which were simple to understand. Quincy Jones was well known for hosting extravagant parties where a number of individuals in the business were seen, some of whom went on to become overnight celebrities. Fans rapidly made the connections and understood the true nature of the industry. Tupac has already expressed his distaste for Quincy and his dubious behavior. Tupac publicly criticized a few of his buddies and made bold statements in a previous interview. When I was shot five times in jail for a crime I didn't commit, while every other black person, I mean, whoever they was f***ing babies. There have been claims that Quincy Jones tried to persuade people to share his opinions by using his influence. Considering how close Quincy had been to Tupac throughout his career, these statements began to make sense. Given their near proximity, some could have thought Tupac had a chance to approach Quincy. According to rumors, Tupac was thinking of switching from Death Row Records to Quincy's record label due to how close they had become. Keisha Cole discovered an intriguing discovery when she revealed anecdotal evidence concerning what transpired the night Tupac passed away. Cole revealed an unexpected fact in a post for Fat Joe's Instagram series. Keisha Cole claims that Tupac intended to sign with Quincy Jones Music Company and leave Death Row Records before to his tragic death in 1996. Cole recalled how MC Hammer had first brought her to Death Row Records, where she got the opportunity to meet Tupac and Suge Knight, the label's co-founders, in an episode of Fat Joe's continuing Instagram Live series. It's amazing that on the day of his tragic death, Tupac decided to leave Death Row and work with Quincy Jones's organization. He extended an invitation to Keisha Cole to accompany him on this musical voyage. That sad day in Las Vegas saw the horrific shooting of Tupac, permanently altering the trajectory of music history. It's important to keep in mind that Tupac was allegedly beginning a love connection with Quincy Jones' daughter, Kid Ada Jones, only months before his tragic passing. This gives this incredible narrative even more mystery. Some others surmised that this connection may be the result of the music mogul's apparent approaches. There are rumors that Will Smith is another well-known person who has experienced uncomfortable interactions with Quincy Jones. There have been long-standing claims that Will Smith's supposed concealment of his homosexuality was caused by Quincy Jones. In fact, there are rumors circulating that Will has replaced Quincy Jones as the homosexual gatekeeper in Hollywood. Smith played the alluring role of a trickster in the beloved comedy drama Six Degrees of Separation, where the plot first appeared. 
the image became well known when there were speculations that co-star Will and Anthony Michael Hall's kissing scene had been abruptly removed from the film. That's not all, though. One of the singers whose career was likewise impacted by Tevin Campbell. At the age of 15, he became well known as a pop soul vocalist and is one of the performers who has been acknowledged for taking influence from Quincy Jones. Upon singing the lead vocals on Quincy Jones' Grammy winning, he rose to fame with the release of Back on the Block album in the early 1990s. His moving rendition of the song Round and Round, a notable cut from Prince's Graffiti Bridge album, garnered him even more acclaim. Tevin's brilliance was made evident when his album, Tevin, was published on Jones Quest Records. In 1991, his voice, especially on the opulent ballad Tell Me What You Want Me To Do, helped propel him into the pop and R&B top 40 nationwide. It wasn't so much a pressure meeting those people and working with those people because I was a kid. The musician spoke in depth about his life and work in an interview with the People Everyday podcast. He talked on how the general public's perspective of being a homosexual guy is different from that of the entertainment business. After giving his career some thought, Campbell said, I call myself a former child star because that's who I am. It would be controversial to heap praise on young artists, but producers Benny Medina and Jones were confident they were in for a major hit. Jones even gave the singer the hilarious moniker Tevin the Great. However, rumors regarding Tevin's record quickly surfaced, and what had once appeared to be an inside joke took a different turn. Rumor had it that Tevin and Jones were more than just business associates. One individual inquired, did Quincy Jones make Tevin Campbell gay, among other things? Tevin, who rose to fame with the song Can We Talk For A Minute, made the decision to talk about his background and his experiences as a musician. I started this when I was 12 years old, so I had really didn't have time to sort of process all of that. But it seems like there are other people than Quincy Jones who have been mistreating and interacting with artists. Actors have been used by several other celebrities, such as Clive Davis, for their own gain. There are rumors that Clive Davis torments vocalists. Whitney Houston, who is regarded as having one of the best voices in music history, has won six Grammy Awards and sold over 170 million records worldwide. Despite her extraordinary success, there are rumors that she had a double life, encouraged by her manager, Clive Davis. According to People, in 1985, music mogul Clive Davis tried to get a New Jersey singer who was not well known to become a big success for Arista Records. Houston was truly a down and dirty Jersey girl, but an insider says she was forced to put on a nice ass demeanor, sing what Clive wanted her to sing, and wear what he ordered. Whitney was clearly really upset about it. The informant went on to say that although Clive had assisted her in fulfilling her childhood ambition of being a well-known vocalist, there was a cost to being such a huge pop star. For the label, she had to provide a specific performance in front of the cameras. It was not Whitney after all. As a result, Houston apparently turned to medications to help her deal with her issues. The insider stated that on top of the challenges she faced, she was also battling the effects of essentially leading two lives. P. E. Diddy's purported romance with Clive Davis, the founder of Bad Boy Records, is one huge success that comes as a huge shock. Davis told a tale of how a young guy his family knew as Sean Combs persuaded him of the value of hip-hop music. According to Davis, Puffy was 23 years old, but I knew who my artist was. Aretha Diane Davis said Whitney's music was one of a kind. At its peak, LaFace was a pioneer in blue-collar R&B. However, LA and I decided we needed someone who was truly streetwise when we saw the hip-hop revolution was actually happening. It's important to know what you can accomplish on your own and when to seek assistance from others. Davis arranged for Diddy to meet with representatives of the labels, who may assist Diddy in realizing his dream. Even at the time when Diddy was still under Davis's management, Many people think that Diddy's current behavior is a direct result of Davis's extensive career in the music business. The story takes a new turn when it is revealed that Clive has consistently avoided these accusations. But as you may remember, Diddy ended up embroiled in a number of court battles when several prominent Hollywood personalities claimed that Diddy had slept with them.
His ex-girlfriend was one of the individuals who made these charges, revealing the absurd things Diddy had been doing to her over the years. As if that weren't enough, his name is also linked to the killing of the notorious Tupac. Numerous well-known people, including 50 Cent, have asserted that Diddy is gay and has been taking advantage of up-and-coming musicians. Given this information, many people think that Clive Davis helped Diddy establish himself as the next big Hollywood villain. With each passing day, more and more people coming forward to reveal Diddy's dark secrets, the belief that he is approaching a reckoning grows. Cat has demonstrated that the music industry is full with unethical individuals and unlawful activity, but he also thinks that these people should be made public so that everyone who appreciates music is aware of them. Many people think that if superstars like Cat Williams continue to expose them, the music business will eventually clean up. One commenter said, I still respect and admire the dude, even though it's easy to tell. Among the few real brothers in the industry is him. It was evident from listening to his interviews that he had grown up. No one will ever be precisely like the original, even though everyone is trying to imitate him. That's it for today's video guys. Thanks for watching.